Hello guys, welcome back to a new EU4 Let's Play with the Emperor DLC and Austria patch. So I had a vote, a straw poll, on my community tab on this channel where I asked you, the viewers, subscribers, etc. to, well, choose the next Let's Play. I had uh, several candidates. I had uh, Everleasable Astorius, I had Burgundy, Dietmarschen, Milan, Switzerland, and finally, if I recall correctly, Naples. Now, uh, Naples won with, I think, like 50% of the votes, so that was a quite the clear victor in that, well, poll. And uh, our goal with Naples is to form the new releasable tag. New releasable tag called the Two Sicilies, or Two Sicilies. Our goal after that? Not so sure. I'm not sure if I should well, convert into Italy or not. <coughs> I already got the Roman Empire achievement, so we're not really... Well, I don't know. We'll see wh what happens if we want to form Italy or not. Probably? Maybe? We'll see. Uh, maybe try, as one of you suggested, uh, conquest of the Mediterranean as two Sicilies. But uh, anyways, let's try this. And Iron Man mode. And... <coughs> Nablus. I haven't really checked if Naples got new ideas. I think two Sicilies got their own ideas once we formed them. But, uh, yeah, let's see here. To trade Venice. Hmm. Oh, we are collecting in both, I see. Yes, Venice. And you will mothball. And our army here was will mothball as well. And now we can also meddle in the new papacy thing, which they had changed. You have fought in Naples? Yeah. Rather fought in Molise or Abruzzi. Mm, maybe here. Avellino. But we'll see. Right now we start as a vassal under Aragon. That sucks. We have to break free, hopefully before S Castile gets Aragon as their vassal. Burgundy, Morocco and the Ottomans hate them. Hmm. You don't, that's annoying. Burgundy, why not France? God damn it. Hmm. Let's just try something like this. Up to speed. Not five speed, though. So, the papacy has been changed in various ways. Uh, this is the reform desire. Each pope can now elect a bull, which gives a, some kind of bonus to Catholic nations. You also send in money to the pope through your clergy. Uh, each month, as a demonstration of faith, the Catholic countries all around the world would offer a tithe to the Curia to fill the treasury. The estimated tithe for this month is 10.86. Depending on the amount of land the clergy has in Catholic nations, blah blah blah. Okay. England is offering a lot of it. I'm offering 0 0.19. Is that a specific thing here? No? State maintenance? Hmm. No. Mothball here. Let's get the uh, to max, just because. Uh, not. Let's not do anything else. <coughs> okay. So let's see here. Two Sicilies. We need Palermo, admin ten and independent. Yeah, they should have their own ideas and traditions. We'll see about Italy. Maybe, maybe not. Need this stuff done here. Hmm. Aragon. Anyone willing at all to help me? Tunis is the closest. The Great Bullion Famine. 
Oh, okay. New source of gold will reap great benefits. Okay. Oh, ultimates would help us now. While oh, it has a truce. Okay, never mind. Uh, improve relations then. I have a truce with them. Oh, I do. Forty-seven. The Pope answers only to the Pope. I see. Instead of all this, did they change any of this stuff here? Mm, seems similar. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here. Yeah, new golden bull. And by virtue of God, the Pope has decided to bless Christiana, Christiana Pietus. Development down and tolerance of heathens up. All right. Not that useful, but it's a thing. Got raided. Raider scum. Okay, you have to wait on 47 before we can get help. Main, okay, hundred years wars keeps on going. Savoy, no, let's try and make friends with as many people as possible so they can maybe help us with this stuff here. Tunis, Navarra, Leinster, Leinster, Leinster. Uh, fine. <laughs> Noah. Ally attitude towards Aragon. Damn it. Damn it. Now, with an independence war, we need to <coughs> keep hold of our of Naples. But it could be nice if we could, I don't know, get some of this stuff here. Maybe Messina and Palermo. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. All right, crownlands. Um, hmm. I would like to see some land, but that would make a lot of people angry. So we could do, say, this in all of them. Down here. would bring it up to, well, right? Higher e equilibrium? Maybe not. Mm, not the burgers. Hmm. Monthly. I don't want to lose crown lens right now. I device a cost down. Power cost. Yeah. Paper. Seas land. It's not that big of a deal right now. It's still Pope and the Empire. Oh. So I guess less prestige because the Pope is in the Empire. That's an insult. Bugger. <sighs> no. God damn it, Ottomans. I thought we were pals. Uh, try up here.
Oh, equilibrium. If they all went up by 10, I guess... No, they're still going up. Hmm. Diplomatic stability cost. I need to go above 50. Advance now. Damn it, man. Are you? No, a war ally. How about you, perhaps? Portugal. Yeah, do this. Tunis could maybe help us. Not sure how much they could help us, but it's something. Do, can it really be true they only have like 10k troops? That doesn't seem right. Not that war, no. Improve relations. Ugh. How about an insult? More. Bloody hell. Well, let's try Tunis then. Okay. Well, right now we're getting King Joan. Joan. What? Oh, wait, what? What is this? Alfonso the Magnificent will that the crown of Naples should pass to his bastard son, Ferdinand, rather than Johan the Second of Aragon. This required the special consort, no, consent of the papacy, and the submission of Aragon before the church. The Pope now expects Ferdinand to do as his father did, and pay his dues to the church. Oh, I lose the union? No matter what. Or will this mean a war with the Pope? Eh. I sort of want to do this, but I think not doing it will be at war with the Holy Holy Father. Uh, screw you. I think. Hmm. Pope is in our way, but it could also be a handy ally against Aragon. Uh, Byzantium, sure, let's just do that. Oh, the eight emperors. <laughs> oh, we need more. Tunis now, sure. So I still need one more. I don't want to piss off the Pope too much, but. Fine, maybe, probably. Mm. Aragon. <coughs> I think I need help from the Pope, if possible. Nice, come home here. Uh, stay in Venice, actually. Let's see, who hates you? Venice, Provence. Portugal hates you when you hate Milan. All right. Was that just by pure chance, or will that event always pop up? Because that was a hell of a easy getting out of that union. A lot easier than I thought. Huh. Okay. 
Castile and Genoa. Hmm. Not allied with. No, wait. Oh, you are. Never mind. Hmm. Burgundy. Ottomans. Hostile. Oh. <coughs> not good. Not good at all. And it did not pop in our nation, but where did it pop? It needs to be somewhere. No, up there. Oh. Okay. It will pop in Naples relatively quickly. Relatively. I guess we could do the edict advancement effort. Speed it up slightly. Peace in our time. The Treaty of Lodi. The Milanese have agreed to sign a peace peace treaty between themselves, Naples, Florence, and Venice, putting an end to the long struggles between Milan and Venice. It sets up a balance of power in northern Italy, including the four great states of Italy. With luck, it provides us with the security to, cons to consolidate, consolidate our power, our, our position. Sure. Do that, do that. Let's see here. I think galleys. Have a massive galley fleet at some point. Fleet maintenance minus 85. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh crap, I need legitimacy, so we'll do this. Oh, the Pope. Hmm. Yeah, I know it may seem counterproductive allying the Pope since he blocks us from going north, but. I think I need him to protect oh, against Aragon first. And after that, we could maybe do something. Okay. Byzantine, Byzantium, Athens, and Serbia. Goodbye. Venice and the Knights. So we could get this, but I'm rather inclined to wait until we get. Renaissance, to be honest, Siena. What well, depends, uh, Siena? Allied with Venice. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Perugia, you're under the Pope, you are. That you are. Only have 7k. Huh. I thought you would have more. Right, I didn't even look at that, at uh, our ideas or missions. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Anyways, we have traditions, plus 10% trade efficiency. That's okay. Institution spread, plus 10%. Meh. And our first idea, consolidate the royal domain. Plus 10% goods produced. That's pretty good. Academia Pontaniana. Technology cost down by 5%. That's pretty good. Encourage city living. Development down by 10%. That's okay. Crush the power of the barons, plus 10% morale of armies, that's okay, that's good. Expand the arsenal, the ship cost down by 10%, yeah, <laughs> mediocre. City of artists, plus one prestige, that's good. The Lazaroni and the monarchy, plus one legitimacy, that's good. And the finisher is national manpower modified, plus 20%, and that's pretty good. So, overall, some decent ideas. The mission, oh, we are independent. Oh. Oh. This is new. Mm, 94. I thought I had that. I guess not. Oh, right, because we became independent and our force limit went up. Right, do that. Then we'll look at it. The Trastamara. Oh, not bad. Kind hearted. Air is. meh. One three five. So let's see here. Independent Naples. Naples must win its independence from the foreign powers that are determined to control its destiny. Oh yeah. Claim on Tuscany. Okay, interesting. I didn't know they have a claim on Tuscany. Roman relations. Allied, okay. Need to own that. King of Jerusalem. 
Jerusalem. Hmm. Five provinces with a church in the... Ki oh, with a church. Okay, and embraced Renaissance. Renaissance in Naples. Okay. Reigned nobles. Okay. Damn. Till the end, plus one of the true faith. Not bad, not bad at all. Built uh, two more here. Do that. How much? What else did we need to do this? Two active cardinals. Uh, Castillo. Yeah. Sure. I don't think you would help me against. Wait, what? Oh, you're not allied to them. But you will not help me against Aragon? No. Ten favors, truce. Okay, well... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, I got two cardinals somehow. Sweet. Roman relations. The proximity between Naples and Rome necessitates a clear relationship with the Holy Father. You must either seek to prevent the Papal State or walk, or else walk the dangerous path of defying it. Let's do that. Okay, I've got 56 here now. I could spend to buy indulgence for my sins. Hmm, interesting. 50. Let's not do that quite yet. Should we just keep on to our points for now? Um, yeah, let's just keep it for now. A few more ships. Alright, now I'm just waiting for Renaissance to pop and, well, get some tech. Then build some churches. And expand our income. We'll play a bit passive here. Mm, okay. Oh, poor Valakia. <laughs> uh, five, seven, seven. What else? Who are you allowed to? Naples, Florence, Chile. We have sort of like claims on you, but... I guess you could be handy. Wait, how, am I actually at the max? No, I'm not. Florence? Sure. Stop with this awesome dude, Cosimo di Medici. Six five five. Nice. I'll take that. Do this. Did we max out here? Eh, well, sorta. Prove. Disloyal. Still need more land. to max out here. Um, hmm. I guess we have to... Wait, uh, uh, wait one more tick. Develop a bit with it. Uh. My phone is beeping. Um, let's see. that for now. Good to see. 
Uh, well, I guess I'll take mercantilism. Okay, it's almost in Naples. We are saving up a bit of money to buy it. If we can afford it. Okay, we got what a few nobility. I think I want to uh, curtail noble privileges. Yeah, let's try that. A bit more income. I guess I could also hire stuff here, but we need money for the institution. Ten forty eight is the max. Come on. There we go. I do not have enough money, or oh, yes, I do. So should I wait? It's not really close anywhere else, so there's no really any need, any reason to wait. So we'll just do it. Take this stuff here, 10, 10, 5. Too bad we didn't get 10 down here. Well, I guess I could wait until we sort of reach the max here, and we're forced to take it. Okay, you announced us as your rival. Interesting. Interesting. We still live Byzantium. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Let's uh, top off with the Pope here. Still only ally with Genoa. We need to do this before Castile gets them. Yeah, that's why I've been building a bit of a few ships, ships here and there. We can sort of challenge them on the high seas, and we can get across the Strait of Messina. There will be blood. Okay. Come and wake another tick. And yeah. And now we got minus ten. Good. Another minus ten. Damn. <laughs> okay. Four, 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 five, five, five. Well, I think you start with minus to your uh, tech, right? No. Hmm, I thought you did. Maybe it's just at the start, the first idea you get. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Okay, call. So, church. Yeah, let's start building that. Okay, we could also... Should we do money? Sure. Oh, nice. I'll take that. One Salerno. Let's redo this. Zero zero zero. Jesus. But Jesus. You allied the Pope? Are you serious? Ugh. God damn it. God damn it, Pope. How could you? 
I trusted you. Well, that changes things, and not for the better. Mm. Tricky, tricky. Let's do this. God damn it. Oh, you know he's eating <laughs> Byzantium. Okay. Cardinal spread institutions. Okay. And another one. That's our fourth. Okay, so if I attack you, <laughs> well, if I could get get Castile and uh, Siena and Florence to help, I don't think it would be a big issue, but still bloody annoying. Defensive war. Oh. You're sort of close in not helping them. I wonder if I took something like plus reputation here. Then maybe an advisor that gave plus reputation, like you. Would they even help them? Maybe not. Still in the Holy Roman Empire. Mm, fine, you know what? Actually, let's see Tunis. That's also Mothball. Or <laughs> embargo them. Let's Mothball Tunis. And Aragon. I really need you to hate Aragon, dude. Yeah, Burgundy, but you're getting wrecked. And I highly, highly doubt you will help me. Yeah. Rocco, uh, that useful are you? This, this, this. Okay, uh, our last church. Well, for this here, Renaissance City. See what happens. Mm -mm -mm. Call. Mm -mm -mm. The Shadow Kingdom. Top this off. Uh, Milan. I don't know. Let's just do something here. Not that I want to ally you or anything, because we'll go above, above limit. We don't want that. Uh, let's save our money for now. New idea group. Hmm, what should we take? Did you take anything yet? Nope. You have good galleys, though. Oof. Could take maritime. Mm. Or trade. Could also do innovativeness early. Getting this early is really, really good because of, well, this and this and this. Ah, here we go. Italy is experiencing a renewal of art, culture, and science. Naples must be at the forefront of this renaissance. Patronize, patronizing art and sponsoring the construction of elaborate new churches. Yes. The great city of Naples became one of the most important centers of the Renaissance in Italy. Brilliant men like Jacopo Sanasaro, Francesco Laurana, Angelo Poliziano, and 
Antonello, the Messia, ushered in a new age of culture and learning. So we get prestige, legitimacy, decay, advisor cost, glory, idea cost down. I think that's a bit more useful, to be honest. An age of glory. Yes. We need 30 and 10. Okay. Provinces with at least 6. No, 10 development. Hmm. Okay. 30 here. Need to boost it up to. Okay. Alright, we can actually turn no edict here. Save a bit of money. Um. Should we take innovativeness just because? Do something different. Damn. Anyways, we do need to cut. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support. And I hope we see you next time. Bye.